This week on Maker Update, stop motion with Raspberry Pi, Nvidia's $99 AI board, Game Burgers, Lissa Jukebox, Street Rider, Ping Pong Clock, and a laser cut turntable cabinet. Hey, I'm Donald Bell and welcome back to another Maker Update. It is good to be back. I have a lot to catch you guys up on, but first a reminder that next week's show is going to be the special edition I do every month on the Adafruit channel, so don't miss that. And now, let's get started with the project of the week. From Wonderful Idea Co., we have a beautifully done instructable on how to make a simple stop motion animation rig that's perfect for kids. The heart of the project is a Raspberry Pi computer with a Pi camera module positioned over the board using a simple wooden arm held together with wing nuts so that you can adjust the height. Five arcade buttons along the side are used for taking a snapshot, an undo button, playing the video, saving the video, or erasing the video. What's cool though is that to hook up the buttons to the Pi, they combined a GPIO breakout board that's meant for a breadboard with a proto board that they could solder up for a more permanent installation. It looks like a lot of fun to play with, but it's especially great for classrooms or children's museums as an engaging way to spark creativity. It's time for some news. NVIDIA launched a new $99 project board geared for AI and robotics. It's called the Jetson Nano Developer Kit, and it comes with a big honking graphics processor that can encode and decode 4K video at 60 frames per second, perfect for computer vision projects. What makes it particularly great for robotics is the software library NVIDIA is rolling out for next month called Isaac. With it, you can simulate environments for your robot and train your own AI for specific tasks. To get you started, NVIDIA also put out a GitHub project guide for building a low-cost rover bot with a 3D printed chassis and $150 in components. You can find a link to it in the show notes. More projects, rapid fire. Love Holton made this outrageously adorable handheld game system he calls the Game Burger Advance. His custom game hardware creations are all beautiful works of art, but he rarely shows off how they were made. This time though, he created a making of video that shows virtually every step in the process, from creating the buns from laser cut wood, to wiring up the Pi Zero and the game pad. It's enough to make you think you might be able to make your own. After months of work, Emily Velasco has finished building her Lissa Jukebox. It's a lascivious machine that generates patterns on a small portable TV that she's painted to look like a vintage green monochrome CRT. What's really cool is how she's generating the patterns. She's wired up two cheap function generators to the X and Y coils of the TV. This isn't a simulation, she's directly manipulating the CRT. For the finishing touch, she created this super retro enclosure for it with an aluminum front panel, wooden sides, and synchronized interior lights. I could watch this all day. Charles Glorioso made this sidewalk riding robot that repurposes car fuel injectors to precisely squirt water to spell out messages. The geared wheels are taken from a Power Wheels car, a windshield washer tank feeds water to the fuel injectors, and an Arduino Uno translates a text file into the sequence of pulses that are needed to spell out the words. The whole thing is operated by a scrap toy RC car remote. If you're loving the way LEDs look when they're diffused through ping pong balls, Thomas Jensma made this cool matrix of ping pong LEDs and turned it into a clock. Using our Arduino Nano, 128 ping pong balls and a strip of 128 addressable LEDs, Thomas patiently sawed and glued each ball and mounted the design on MDF. The result looks beautiful, though I want to believe there's got to be an easier way to jig this all together, or maybe have a 3D printed or laser cut template that everything can fit in. Speaking of laser cut, Jonatron is back with this awesome design for a turntable cabinet with built-in speakers. He cut his version out of 3 quarter inch plywood using a high powered laser cutter, but there's no reason you couldn't go at it with a CNC router or even a template and a jigsaw. You can find the full guide with plans on Instructables. I have a few tools and tips to share with you. First, on the Cool Tools channel, I have a roundup video showing three different types of graffiti style replacement tips for Rust-Oleum type spray paint cans. I was sick of getting clogged caps, so I found some cool options. The signal generators used in Emily Velasco's Lissa Jukebox are these cheap kits you can get on Amazon for $14. You can find them cheaper on eBay, but they take forever to ship. The Amazon one ships with Prime. At that price, I just bought one to have handy as a rainy day project. Recordings from the second Plotter People Meetup are now on YouTube. There's a talk from Jeffrey Bradway and one from Chandler Abraham. Both are a great dive into CNC plotter graphics. My favorite takeaway from the talks was the discovery of turtletoy.net. It's 
an online library of plotter graphics that you can tweak the code on and make your own and download as SVG files. There's some really great stuff on there and even some files that will randomly regenerate every time you load them. I also learned about Maker.js. This is an online tool by Microsoft Garage that lets you create and, create and code modular line drawings using a JavaScript library. There's some cool demos on here to get you started and a luxurious amount of file export options. Maker Fairs, we have three this weekend, including Wolfsburg, Germany, Lafayette, Louisiana, and Gottingen, Germany. If none of those are near you, check the map at makerfair.com to see when your local fair is happening. And don't forget, we also have Maker Fair Bay Area, the big one, happening on the weekend of May 18th. I'll be there all weekend, and it would be great to see you guys. All right, and that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, or leave a comment. Make sure to tune in for next week's show over on the Adafruit channel, where I'll have some big news to share. You can also subscribe to the Maker Update email newsletter that goes out every week with show notes and video links, plus a few little bonus projects thrown in. A huge thanks to my Patreon patrons who keep me inspired and keep the show rolling. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.